called the Shopaholics during ancient Greece. This is the place where they go to. This is their version of the mall and it's called Stoa of Attilus. Um, let's go find out what's in there. So this is a description of Stoa of Attalus. all these columns and from one of the documentaries that we watched they actually mentioned why this is supposed to be like the columns here the bottom about six foot usually it's all smooth why is that girls to encourage people to lean on yeah, they actually want to encourage people to lean on it because maybe they are tired from all the uh, trading. And for tired tourists nowadays. Yeah, and for tired tourists nowadays. There you go. On, who is this? statue of Apollo Patrus. at this impressive column hallway whatever you call it okay let's take a picture here of the Iliad. Oh, you know about Iliad, girls? Yeah. What is it? It's story made by Homer. Oh, a story by Homer? That's good. of the personification of the alien personification is that a woman? oh no I don't think so and this is look statue of the personification of Odyssey we just mentioned it earlier oh look there's also words on it yeah what could it be? oh look at this suggested that you have to go upstairs first so here we go
at this view, girls. That must be the temple of Hephaestus. On your right. images of gods and mortals. Oh! What is that? Head of an over life-size statue of Demeter. Who's Demeter again, girls? The goddess of the harvest. The goddess of the harvest, that's right. And agriculture. And agriculture. This torso of Artemis Bolu. I can't even pronounce that one. Bolia? Oh, hello, who are these? Oh, nobody specific. Just says head of a youth, of a youth, of a young woman. It's very small faces. So now the Romans got copies of classical sculptures. So they copied the uh, sculptures of the Greeks. Statue of So cute. He is. Cute. Don't include the bottom part. <laughs> so what does it do, girls? It makes people fall in love. Oh, it makes, it makes people fall in love. Not Aphrodite. Aphrodite says it. Oh. Don't know if it's Aphrodite. Oh, okay. So head of a goddess, probably Persephone. And who is Persephone? The daughter of Demeter. The daughter of Demeter who was? Kidnapped by. Hades. Basically her uncle. Yeah. But don't think about that. <laughs> yep. Head of Mil Milia Gloves. Where is it? Head this one? of Alexander the Great or Eubulius. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Chin. What's up with his chin? I like his hair. It's funny. Wow. Let's continue. No. This is the restoration of the Agora. At its fullest development, 2nd century AD. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. It's a huge place. Where are we? So, what do we know of, about the ancient Agora girls? It was once a marketplace. Marketplace? People from all over would come over and trade. Then trade to do buy and sell. It was also a place for democracy. Uh huh. Political discourse, everything. Everything happens here. It was basically the center. The center of everything of Athens. Philosophy, where? Socrates. Who come here? Socrates, Socrates. and. Alexander the Great. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander the Great. Yeah. I'm the, uh, I'm 
and you can go and see uh, the guy, mm -hmm. the student, the student of uh, Socrates, Plato, Plato. probably Aristotle, Aristotle too, yeah, and then, uh, Alexander. He was here, a homeless person, uh -huh. that was inspired by, he was here. Oh, who, oh yes, I remember. The uh, philosopher, the other philosopher named um, Diogenes, 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 who lived in a barrel. Lived in a wooden barrel. All tiny people. And what was the funny story? Alexander the Great was so impressed by him, and then he went to see Diogenes. Diogenes. He said, I'll, "Whatever you want, I'll give you." Mm -hmm. I said, get out of my sunlight. Please. Yeah, that's all he wanted. He didn't want anything from Alexander the Great, who was willing to give him anything that he wanted at that time. Please get out of my sunlight. Yeah, just get out of my sunlight. He was disturbing his sunlight thing. <laughs> Sunbathing. <laughs> get out of my sunlight. Yeah. So he wanted to live a very simple life. Look at all these tiny people. So next one would be the wealthy. Athenian citizens represented according to the imperial prototypes. Let's see. Who are these wealthy Athenians? Okay. Is that portrait head of Trian? He wears. Who's he? Oh, I thought it was a she. And this one. He looks angry. Portrait of Alias Um Okay, we're not very familiar with this. Caesar. He was Caesar. He was Caesar? Yes, Caesar. Let me see. What does it say? Do not cover. Alias Verus was Caesar. Oh, not the uh, Julius Caesar, but the adopted as Emperor Hadrian. He died too soon to succeed. Oh. Too bad, he died too soon. Is a uh, private and prominent citizen, so Roman Athens. Who are these people? Head of an Um Imperial priests. Wow, that's kind of an elaborate crown or head headwear, whatever. We we should really uh, study this in Eleusinian Ili mysteries, girls. I don't know about this. Let's find out what are those mysteries. Oh my God! Look at that. Oops. Collections of sculptures adorning the private schools of late antiquity. Statue of Youthful Hermes. That's Hermes girls. The messenger god. The messenger god. Heracles. Hercules. Is that Hercules? Yes. yes. Hercules is the Greek name, and Hercules is the Roman name that is taken in is more well known. Oh! Heracles means glory from Hera. The, the what? What does it mean? Glory from Hera. Glory from Hera. Okay. Even though they completely hate each other. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. Because look at this. Do you know why Hera? Statue of Athena. Do you know why Hera hates Hercules? Why? Because Hercules is used to son with another woman. What? Oh gosh. That's not good. <laughs> 
And what is this? Okay. So, who is this? Head of a goddess, probably Nemesis. Nemesis is the god, goddess mm -hmm. of revenge. Of revenge. She appears in the form. Well, she's kind of like a forgotten. She appears in the form of the person who hate most. Wow. And who is this? That is the son of God, Helios. Helios. It's, it's supposed person, to be a titan, The but person who drives the sun chariot around the sky. It's not Apollo. Apollo's mistaken for that a lot. Oh. But Apollo replaced the sun god. Oh. Because everyone said he was so shiny. <laughs> so shiny, sh shiny, shimmering, splendid. Apollo never what? Replaced Helios. Oh. It's a scene now and it's trying to mix that up. Oh, okay. In my Percy Jackson book, mm -hmm. um, well, I know it's not real, but in my Percy Jackson book, Helios calls him Chariot Magnet. The what? Chick Magnet. Uh, Chick Magnet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is a Agora. Some kind of a blueprint or something. Okay, we're done here, girls. I think the exit is here. Let's go to the uh, ground floor. Oops, sorry. So, actually, here in Greece, their first floor, they call it ground floor. And their second floor, they call it first floor. First. Yep. Yeah, especially when you're in the elevator. Wow. Okay. Let's go to to the ground floor. What could this be? It could be the floor. These, these are tiles. It seems like they're very intricate. They are very Must be the detailed. tiles from ancient Agora? I presume this is from the wealthy. <laughs> it's yeah. Who is this important person here? Por portrait bust of the emperor and Antoninus plus. Oh my gosh, I don't have my eyeglasses. <laughs> this the statue of Themis. Who is that? It's a titan. It's a titan. Household pottery, cooking devices. Grill. Is this a grill? No, that's not the grill. This is the grill. That is the oven. Yeah, and that's the grill. Oh, this is this is also a grill. Yeah. They have grills. So they can make the goddess some barbecue. There's another grill here. Yep. They do barbecue. In ancient. Greece. Because they're gods, though. Everybody Thank you. Yeah. Okay, this is the clepsydra or the water clock. What do you know about the water clock? What's on the camera about? Here. I can't see. I can't see here. Let's focus here. Okay. 
Oh, they time it. The speeches of famous orators. Oh, because they have to time it. Yeah. They use the water clock. That's why it's called a clock. They put water in there. And mm -hmm. then when they allow the person to make a speech. And they don't they don't uh, continue after all the water is drained. Oh. Okay. Okay, next is the bronze Spartan shield loot from the Battle of Pylos. Ooh. This shield gave the Spartans an upper hand in the war. In the war? Why? It's because most of the enemies relied on projectiles. Okay. That looks very heavy. I know. And big. See? Compared to your sizes. And let's see. This is Sparta! <laughs> Next will be the equipment from the law courts. Courts. Classical and Hellenic period. This is actually their voting machine before. Yeah, and right? the way to vote people in democracy and stuff and out. Yeah. And to get their so-called tyrants uh -huh. out of the country and be exiled. Oh, so they vote because Greece is the birthplace of democracy. Yeah. Especially in ancient Agora where they discuss, they vote, and they put the names of these uh, whoever they're voting for or against. And they put it in there. And they count it, right? Yeah. And um, the decision is made, uh -huh. as you can probably presume, mm -hmm. by whoever gets the most votes. Oh, okay. To be kicked out or to be put in. Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me take a picture of that description there if it's clear um, enough. of uh, people who were ostracized before. But we can't read Greek. Yep. I write it's all here. Greek to me. Mm -hmm. It's all right here. Oh. So, Astrapa for ostracism. And Wait, these are the names of those ostracized. 37. So, who are the famous names here? Socrates. Socrates, number four. Aristides. There's so many Aristides. Hippocrates. Uh, I don't know which Hippocrates do I know in here. Heracles. Yep. Heracles. This one really looks interesting. Pottery from Wells. Da -da -da. What could this be? <coughs> it, it's pottery for little babies. It is a toilet seat for the babies. Wow. We kind of saw some of the a modern version of that. Yeah, potty training. Yeah, potty training. Mm -hmm. So these are mostly like potteries and uh, some artifacts that were excavated from the ancient Agora and they put this little museum to showcase everything that they could find. What are these? Golden Rose So that is a restoration of the chamber tomb. Okay, let's proceed to the ancient Agora.